So, I mean, that's the outcome. They were, Navi sat down before Secret even picked their fifth hero, and they yeah. insta-snagged AA. They decided their fifth pick. And, it's, and it happened to be really good versus Timbersaw. And it so. happens to be the oh. hero that he won TIA1 with. Counters that in a way, and they have a lot of magic immunity coming out. Secret oh, now, looks like smoke. The smoke, but oh, oh yeah, yeah. He's going to feel the wrath of this one. Dendi getting the first blood as well. What a kickstart for him in the mid lane. Could look, have looked to dispel the smokes. And Aiko picks up level two with this one, mid one. Oh, he wanted that bounty rune. He really did. He's not going to find it. Oh, I think they caught a glimpse of Roger there for a second. I mean, mid one's going to farm this. Uh -oh. Can Suneko and Roger do something about this? I mean, if he drops low, they it, can go on him. They are certainly going to look to run in and go for this one. Mid one trying to escape. Have they got the damage to do so? They look to body block him up with the Infernal Blade ticking him down in the blast. There's nothing Puppy could do with time. He can't save mid one. Mid one is already gone. And Yaps are on Puppy. They can't do anything about Roger and Suneko here over their side of the map. I think he was in range for the Fates Edict. It may have it saved like him, but. It still would have been tough. Yeah. And now the pressure continues. Dendi soon to hit level six. Oh, that it is. It's not going to be fun for mid one. If there's a level six AA in his lane, whilst he's still sitting on level four on this alchemist. I believe he goes to the jungle, and there's already a ward there to watch when he does go to the jungle. So Navi setting up for the situations in case the alchemist does go to the jungle. So yep. they'll see him farming. They can and even throw some ice blasts. I mean, there. that's the thing, isn't it? They may see him get low as an alchemist. You sometimes get a little, uh, little cheeky. You see the, how much you stick around. You see both wards that Navi placed. The one bottom to watch the jungling. The one top in the jungle too to watch wherever he's going. So definitely understanding and having good reads of the the way that the game should progress at least in this laning phase from Navi. Not top general. He played around a little bit there by by Ace, but still, you know, as you said, as you expected, still finding a lot. Ace slightly ahead in that lane. Mid lane Dendi. So about 16. In fact, he's nearly level 7 on this ancient apparition. Just coming up to the 6 minute mark as well. Mid one only himself hitting level 5. And uh, hoping for the bounty rune. Looks like this time he will be able to get it before Suneko's over there to steal it from him. In fact, Suneko has to be careful. Does manage to roll himself away, but Secret being very, making sure that they can at least protect these bounty runes for mid one. A blast, it's connecting onto mid one. He should be fine, but just being obnoxious, yeah. sending him back. This poor alchemist. Is that worth though? It's alchemist. He's top of the board, of course. What's up again? Get the general. They'll hold him in place, but he immediately just turns. Life drains. And nothing that the two of those could do to stop that at that moment in time. And now Roger, quick with the reaction, coming in looking for Puppy. Will go for the disarm, but they have the decrep slow. Roger chasing this one down with the Infernal Blade. Ice Blast to come in as well. Ah, uh, they won't even need it. Puppy already ticks down. We might see like the most denies oh. ever in a game too from Dendi this game. We're racing at 34. I mean, this is he is not missing a creep. I think you know Navi, this brand with the amount of money they've built up, they've gone, they've built a time machine and they've managed to bring. Dendi back in from TI1. And he is playing absolutely the top of his game. Seneko versus Yapso. Yapso dodges the Seder Blast. He should be just fine here. Roger trying to get the chase, but unable to. He's got one more blast to go. I'm very confident to do so with that hook build. Knows that it's very hard for Navi to really send anyone down there looks to do anything about it. Yapso is level six, ready to use the hook shot. Oh, Roger's very dead here. Rooted in position. Oh, actually, without more rotations, really he's okay. Yeah, with just the two of these. Support's trying to go for it. Yeah, he, sort of gets turned on here. He's gone. I thought we had an extra rotation coming out from the timber saw, but no Ace response. actually Ace prioritizing taking the tower. Because they did have a shrine there. I thought probably TP would come in, but it's a quick TP down towards the bottom with this smoke. This might catch Ace off guard because of the vision that Secret had. They saw them head up towards the top. I don't think he's gonna expect him down bottom, he so this gang in some trouble. It's gonna be incredibly Potent Ace will turn, will cut down Dendi. Roger held the Doom and there. I really thought he would just Doom right away, but now Ace gets the kill he on the mid to. solo. Yeah, that, that Doom. And General still, or Seneco still struggling to get that level 6 on Earth Spirit. 14 oh. minutes in, still has not gotten it. Oh, and Dendi, he's looking to use his Midas, but none of the creeps are there. There's a lot of time. Where's that Midas effi efficiency done though? Yeah, so hook. And they cut him down. Ace comes through, takes the kill. Dendi is there with the Ice Blast. They've already managed to finish off Yapsor, holding Fudder in place with the Cold Feet. They'll bring him down low, but Puppy's there with a the backup. 
Comes in just in time with the TP home, nothing to cancel it. Of their roles cut out for them this game. Oh, Dendi, if he gets spotted out here, a hook shot from behind. He's got a four step though. Oh, comes through. Can Denny get out? There's the force. Will buy him some time. Puppy and Yapso trying to move in, but the backup's there. Quick reaction with the ice bars down onto Yapso, but he's being false promise. Puppy trying to buy him time to finish off the job onto Dendi. Can he actually do it? Puppy's going to get taken out by Crystallize. No, he can't. Yapso is gone. And the Secret two. lose two. There's the Doom. Drop down. Do they have the damage? They've got the control. The net, the root is out onto this Slimba. He's trying to get out of here, but the Doom is too strong. He's got a lot of armor. He's making them work for it. Is he actually going to get away with the timber chain? It's going to be close. He's, He's fine. I, he is fine. You'll get the pickoffs naturally when you have those lanes split up. Here we go, the blink dagger. They channel up the stun. Dendi, they're trying oh, to go for him here in mid lane. Mid. There's Dendi's no dead. escape for Dendi. The combo brings him down. That blink certainly catching him off guard. Totally unexpected. Like, you, I mean, you, you just. When have you seen an outgo Radiance blink? It's not every day. It's just, yeah, this game it's very good just because they need it for the ganks and yeah. very good with the Oracle. And they're making the way into the Roche Pit. We've seen this a couple times from some teams. It's Firestorm, the Underlord. It actually affects Roshan. It kills Roche very quickly. And with that minus armor coming out from Acid Spray, they're looking to try to bring it down. It does get scanned out though. Navi going toward that area. They have lots of team fight. They want to try and do it. 15 seconds though without the Ice Blast. It looks like they don't care. This is going to be the lead in from Roger. Starting to pull the Yapsaw back. The Roche falling low. Six seconds till Ice Blast potential. Mid one's trying his best to finish this off. Crystallize moving in on Tafada. The Roshan is out. Gets Ready to get the kill. Ready to get the Aegis. They get both of it. Taking it out underneath the nose is a secret. The Doom's dropped down onto the out. Mid one is gone. And Navi, they're trying to move in for more. Roger will be cut down. Crystallize able to pick off Yapso on the side. Two for one at the moment. But Navi somehow getting in there. Seneca with the plays, making sure they can grab the ages. They're not even done yet. They're looking towards Ace. He's been hit by the Ice Blast, trying to be saved by his teammates, but it's not enough. Ace is down, hits the ground. That's Bloodstone Charge is gone for this Timbersaw. Puppy will be able to TP back home, but Fada will not be as fortunate as crystallizes Seneco. Finish him off. Navi there with that phenomenal play around the pit. Dendi, or uh, Puppy actually got the deny on Ace there. Okay. So I guess when he That's was under, at least. he was under the effect of the false promise, and it just wore off, and he used. Fact. Navi. Roger's rotating behind. There's two down it. Roger could certainly look for the wraparound. Yapso's going to back up. You are going to see Mimbon quickly blink his way up the tree line. That should be enough to keep him safe for the time being. Fana's now come in. Gets the root off onto Roger. Roger quickly forced back by his teammates. Silence and smash just thrown out as well. Make sure there's nothing else coming through. It was the silence actually onto, onto Mib1, who may have actually had the chance to get that stun off. So again, Seneca just making sure that there's no chance for Secret to find that follow-up control. Yeah, so many four steps coming out from Navi. Already, I believe they have three. Such a good game for them. Pugna, Doom, and AA. All three having one. Seneco's going to be building toward the Veil, but bottom lane now, we see Spada getting oh, gone on. He's just gone back in. Spada's been left alone. The rest of Secret has sort of backed off. He's very tanky for his magic damage, Oh, though. and now Yabzo, he's able to reach him. But again, the four staffs. It's a good item, and it's a good game for it. Seneco trying to roll his way out, but he hasn't got a TP. It's on cooldown, so will not escape this affair. Fada and Yabzo do finish off the kill. They're looking to chase for more now. General, oh, General's dead now too. He's not getting home safe tonight, boys and girls. They've rooted him up. He'll try and life to drain himself out of this. But there is no chance with the full five mana secret. The power in Fada is isolated I mean, top of top. it. They're, yeah, they're trying to go in on him. And with the Ice Blast, it's going to be close. He does shift to the side, but they get the debuff upon him. He's looking to TP himself down home. But it's already enough damage for Na'Vi. The blast from General brings him under the threshold. He's gone. Seneco looking for the escape. Oh, oh he's getting out. Oh, he's rolled. He's done it. Oh, Seneca. He what tried to do that bottom, where you roll did. off the map and you like appear onto Wait, the other side of the trees. He tried to bottom, but he didn't have to... Yeah. Roger leading the way. They're on the high ground, though, Secret. Yapso goes straight in with a hook shot, but there's a heart on this PL. He does not care about a clockwork. Seneco going in with a combo, rolling out as well. He gets himself far enough away from this fight. This is not a good fight for Navi, though. They're backing off. They realize that they can't find the pick. Ice Blast yet to be committed. Roger gets gone on, and Ace has the damage. They'll be able to punish the Doom. The rest of Navi and D backing away. It's it still is tough to fight into what Secret oh. has with so many pipes. Oh, uh -oh. Echo crystallized. He tried to TP out. 
The blinker coaches there, there's going to be a buyback from Roger. They're looking to turn. Na'Vi, they've now managed to bring the fight around their own shrine. And Fala realizes, he said, boys, we got to get out of here. We're going home. Takes them out. Puppy is not going to make it to the taxi in time, though, as General blasts him to pieces. So Na'Vi get one. And a very smart movement there from them, really, sort of. Can Na'Vi really finish this off? On the side, Roger, he did buy back for this. He is going to get hook shotted. Roger is down for a long time now. 60 seconds, but the Ice Blast, the combo from Suneko comes through. Mid one and Yapso taking it out low. They're not going to survive this. Mid one's got Yapso as well. Triple kill for General. Just like that, they're not even done. Ultra Beautiful. kill. Na'Vi moving up to the high ground. Roger. May so be smart. gone, but they don't care. It's so smart of them to not commit for the Roche there. This could be a long one, Owen. As we said, it secret base defense is Ooh, so massive. Oh, yeah. So straight in onto General. The first force comes out, but the concoction connects. General is down. 90 seconds, no, no buyback, buyback on this Pugna. Is Roche going to spawn? Is this going to be the most timely Roche oh, ever? Is it? It's 25 seconds. If they're able to scout that out once it's Gabe spawns up. Watching. Is it up? It's fifth in 15 seconds, or is that the timer? It's going to respawn in 15, yeah, it's going to be up, but they have no one scouting it out just yet. And we're on to Roger, he does have that BKB, but he is going to have to press he it. He used it, late. Oh. He actually dies anyway. Was that... Oh. Continuing to keep the lanes pushed out, Ace is respawning now. Ace is down to six Bloodstone charges though. Yeah, he's, he's, he's been sitting on them for a while, he's just been unable to get them back up. Well, actually no, he must have, because he did go down up top, so he, yeah, I guess... He's been up and down, but as you say, sort of on average, consistently hovering around just the six Bloodstone charges this game. Dendi might get caught out here. Oh, it's a great era to jump on if they can get away with it. Can Na'Vi save Dendi? Shadow Blade out. Do they have the vision? They do. Is he going to get out? Force, force. He's out. They're trying to chase, though. Crystallize looking to slow down the out with the Scardi for that BKB. And in fact, General giving his life there for Dendi with the life drain, healing him up. And now Na'Vi, they turn it around. False promise comes out just in time though, keeping mid one alive. They'll lose Seneco. Roger now in trouble as well. A secret will maybe take down another no. That Shadow Blade just saving him. It's out the side. They will kill the Underlord before the Dark Rift comes out. Navi picking Secret apart. Ace trying to finish off Roger. Will cut him down. Father, he cannot hold Crystallize back from Ace. He's out of mana though. The Diffusal Blade with the Illusion not doing quite as much damage as they would like, but it's still enough. They'll force Ace to kill himself. He's out. Father tries for the TP. Will make it. There's no cancel. He's okay. Majority of the damage is still a lot of that magic damage, so BKB TP is still oh, Fada. very good. Oh, Fada he now. just got forced in! Na'Vi! They shove him down, but Na'Vi! Oh no! It was a bit of a debate! Na'Vi end up losing two of their own heroes! They do get Fada's life! In they go, blink out quick from General. As he gets forced forward, all these forces in play starting to drive things a little crazy. Mid one has to watch out, the BKB is still on I mean, cooldown there. General's just waltzing up, he wants to get these blasts off. You still see how much damage the Timbersaw can do in those situations, though. Roger and Seneco standing next to each other for one second just get absolutely exploded. Fada does die, though, and he will queue up the BKB next on that Underlord. Secret, though, saving for buybacks. At risk, at risk here. Yapsor in some oh, trouble. Oh, yes, he's been going on. Can he get out? He does have the Glimmy. He does get sheep sticked up. They have the vision, but false promises there from Puppy. Keeping Yap alive. Crystallized though, moving straight in off the back lines, trying to find Puppy. Yaps are in again over the second hook shot. Make sure the Crystallized can't chase down the Oracle. Ace gets melted. He gets doomed up. Gets decrep drained. Dead so fast under all that magic damage. Right up with the Dark Rift. Make sure that there's no more casualties for now on the side of Secret. The, da the sheer damage though from the... Ice Vortex plus the Decrep, it's absurd. And Dendi actually chooses to take the plus 100 uh, Chilling Touch damage instead of taking the uh, Cold Feet charges. If they can force out the buyback on Ace. That would be the dream here for Na'Vi. If they start the siege once again down bottom, Puppy just having to Glimmer Cave to avoid this Illusion spam from Crystallize with the Spirit Lances. Crystallize just going in. Very heavy handed here onto each heroes with these illusions, making sure the, the mana's not there. The racks, just watch each blast how much damage it really does. Oh, 
Awesome. Okay, they get the glyph, so we don't get to see it this time. <laughs> oh, yeah, so gonna with the hook shot, Doppelganger to dodge the loads of Zorg. Vada getting Infernal Bladed, in fact, he gets forced down to the low ground. Mid one's out with the Chemical Rage as well, looking for Roger, but Roger with the BKB, Crystallized with the chase down. Can they quite finish this up? Mid they one's isolated. Look. Yeah, they look straight back towards the out. The Ice Blast comes in, mid one's down, buys back immediately. Yabso yeah, tried to go for the hook shot there, but it was blocked by Puppy, mid one. Gets the connection, there's no BKB now for Roger, already used, Roger's gone, General but gets General the does indeed finish it off. How many lives will they pay with though, that's the question. Secret looking to chase, Zaneko able to roll away, Crystallize trying to come back in to help his teammates, but General, he's falling low, forces to the side, but the magical damage is too much, Tick stands the Radiance, mid one gets the kill, General's buying back though, he wants to get involved with this and help his team, Zaneko still alive somehow as he rolls up towards the top, Yapsor trying to chase, Zaneko will live, Crystallize is not going to be as fortunate though. Secret will cut down the PL. 75 minutes. What a game this has been. Uh, yeah, as you say, this is just such such a difference from game one, Na'Vi. Indeed. He's going up on the front here. The creep waves that spawn are massive now. <laughs> it's all about Zaneko's catch. Yep. And he's going in. He's right. running forward. Next up though. But the four stabs. Oh Ooh. god. Ping pong the wrong way. Oh. And Yapto connects. That's and the last do, four step. Do they have any save from? I don't think they do, do they? Yeah, you're right, they've already used it. That's an echo down. That was all three four steps that they could use. No, oh, that's spirit for 99 seconds in the fight. Uh oh, Roger might be in a little bit of a unfortunate position here. The stun comes out though, the oh. clockwork hook, is it gonna come? Yes, it is. He's not getting home tonight, boys. That's Roger down as well. Someone's gonna have to buy back. Yeah, for sure. Clever little wraparound coming out from Secret and having Yapsor, of course, poured into top. That's the only BKB piercing stun that they do have is that clockwork hook. And there we go, the buyback from Suneko is forced. Suneko going in, there's the buyback from the Doom first. Ice Blast comes out onto mid one and Fada Hex as well. Crystallize looking to finish off one of the targets. Fada's trying to be forced back. The BKB and the False Promise is there to buy time for the Underlord. Doppelganger dodges the concoction, secret back off, but the Dagon takes the Aegis out of the hands of Ace. Ice Blast straight onto the head of Puppy, making it very hard for him to come back and close to the fight. Dendi trying to chase down. Roger gets the Doom out. It's on to Ace, having to back away. They're trying to keep it ticking with that Axe range. Crystallized Spirit Lance onto Puppy. Fado looks to turn. Brew down onto two. Dendi holding him back. Cold Feet, it may just proc. He's looking for the Dark Rift escape. They've got the head. He gets kicked out! Back, but he's still going to TP out. No way to cancel the Dark Rift, I'm afraid, boys. He's gone back to base. Bye back from Yabsor. Seneko trying to chase down Ace for the second time after that Aegis. I'm just looking at the sheer amount of current gold. I keep going to the current gold oh, yeah, tab, well, we which numbers. I never really do. It's like 8,000, 6,000, 5,000, 5,000, 5,000. Oh, hello! Look who's in the front lines. He's X'd up. He's gone. Yabsor down for two minutes. Seneko with the enchant. No remnant. buyback on this clockwork. And Seneko, he's chasing for more. Vada's going to be there, looking for the Dark Rift out. We'll save the other two of them. But Puppy, again, is not getting home. He's going to be taken out as well. No matter how long that duration of False Promise is not enough to save him. He's gone. Two down on Secret. Seneko with the beautiful play there. Blinking in, getting it. There's the buyback from Puppy. Jump. Oh, Seneko! Oh, he's kicked Midwon back! Oh, look at that distance! The Abyssal Blade looking him down! Have they got the damage? Midwon's surrounded! He's gonna be taken out! He's gone! He's got to buy back and he does! Straight back in! The Doom on Doom action as he does get reflected back! Doom kills himself, but he sends up for the kill on Fada! Ace is gone! Has to buy back! There's the second Ice Blast! Brian Dendi connects on to two! Seneko can't find the Boulder Smash! He's overstepped the mark, trying to get out of there! Rolls away before the concoction connects! Will he get back? They'll try and chase, they have got the Yule set up, they look to cut down Sudeiko as well, and they do get him, that's two down on Na'Vi. This time, then without the buybacks and off the map. Secret though, they did have to commit four more buybacks for that defense. Sudeiko, yeah, he's this, looking to get somebody with the remnant. This is the man you've got to watch. If he gets a quick grab, it could all be over. So scary to play versus Earth Spirit at this point in the game when he's got this tag in him. It's like it's so one person out of position, yeah. you can just lose the game. It's oh, and he's got an Imbus rune as well to help. The thing is, it's up. not even out of position. It's just he just can go on you. So they have to have very quick reactions. I think vision is even more important now. Sure, it's 80 minutes in, but if they can get vision of anybody, 
and get that oh, top lane, top lane look using the helm of the dominator creep to set up for these dark rift plays navi are going to try and react but suneko on the front lines getting cut down will be forced up does live roger gets the bkb out of time the hex the ice blast flying in but fada he does get forced back up to the high ground crystallize look at the, the boulder smash on to do suneko catches both mid one and yaps on mid one he's gone for two minutes Crystallize picks up the double. Roger, he may go down, but the second ice blast from Dendi, it's out. Connects onto Ace. He's trying to escape. Secret, they've lost two. Puppy stuck in the sidelines as Crystallize and Seneca will beat him down. It's Triple GG. kill for Crystallize. Secret lose four. And Seneca, what an earth spirit. Oh my god. They've actually done it. They've GG. actually done it. Navi! Holy shit. You've only got to hear the crowd here to just realize how incredible of a game that was for the fans here in Kiev. It gets, you can see how hard the fights get for Sika though. When you're playing versus Double Doom, Double Ice Blast, you've only got one false promise. You can only save one guy. After using and spending all your buybacks, the team fights become absolutely